If you're looking for a hideout, this one's taken. Who are you running from? Patience. You? Doctors. One in particular. <laughs> Shouldn't be here. Well, that makes two of us. I really didn't expect to care this much. That's exactly why you should be here. What about you? I made a promise to my wife that I would slow down. Before this, I ran a clinic in Chinatown and it almost broke us. I mean, Georgia. Georgia couldn't go through that again. And I promised that she wouldn't have to. I promised her that I would be there so we could start a family. So I asked Georgia if she would slow down with me to stop dancing a career that she loved. She's really, really good at it. She did. For me. To be a mom, you know. So we got pregnant, and then I got the call about New Amsterdam. If Chinatown was K2, then New Amsterdam was Everest. Who can resist climbing Everest? Lots of people. Wish I were one of them. But I said yes. Without telling Georgia. She didn't like that. You betrayed her. But that doesn't mean that you don't belong here. And the changes you've made are going to help thousands of people. What about the one I married? Oh, Max, you haven't told her that you have cancer, have you? And what are you waiting for? To not have cancer? You can't carry this load by yourself. Not as a medical director, not as a patient, certainly not as a husband or father. You've been telling everyone, put the patient first, so why don't you take your own advice? Consider this your first appointment. And your first order of business is to tell your wife that you have cancer. <laughs> <laughs>